Over 40% of Americans work inside job to supplement their income, and if you're viewing this video right now, it's likely that you're also trying to increase your income. Welcome to Finance Simple, where money's made easy, and today, here are the 7 finest side hassles that can possibly perform incredibly well for you. Imagine, over the past 10 years, you have attempted a ton of different side business ideas. Some of them have been profitable, but a lot of them have just been a waste of time. Look no further, this video is just the one for you. The first two side jobs may even be able to scale up to 5 figures each month for the next year. Starting off with number 1, being a content creator. Your primary focus should be on producing worthwhile content and growing your followers without requesting anything in return from the beginning. Let's say you begin creating YouTube videos about credit cards, budgeting, and a few other money-related issues. You produced that content for almost 6 months without ever earning a single dollar, but you were able to do so because you actually enjoy the subject matter. Then, after your channel had 1,000 subscribers, you were able to gradually add more revenue sources such as YouTube ad revenue, affiliate marketing, and eventually some sponsorships as well. Next up, number 2, providing services to other content creators. So, what kind of help? Those services can include things like screenplay writing, creating thumbnails, and video editing. They can also include more worthwhile jobs like contacting company that will pay to sponsor videos. This kind of behind-the-scenes job is excellent because some of you may already have some expertise with some of that. If so, you may begin earning money right away by searching for work on platforms like Fiverr or Upwork, or you can just get in touch with producers you already enjoy and offer to assist them in either refining their material or simply freeing up their time. Moving on to number 3, flipping sneakers, which some of you may have been doing since high school and still occasionally profit from because it's so simple to do once you figure it out. For those who are unaware, collectors and sneaker heads who fill their wardrobes with them have a huge demand for sneakers like Retro Air Jordans and other limited releases. There are even enormous gatherings called the Sneaker Con that take place around the nation where these collectors trade and sell these sneakers to one another. A lot of athletes and celebrities also wear all these shoes since they have kind of evolved into a status symbol in society. You should try and have a look at an app called StockX which functions much like a market for sneakers livestock. As a result, you can track the current live market price for the majority of shoes on that app as well as see bids and asks. To get certain sneakers through websites like the Nike Sneakers app, they most likely have to stand in line or win a raffle. However, after purchasing a set, you can resell them on StockX eBay, or even Facebook groups. Just be careful to account for the typical costs that sites like StockX and eBay charge, which range from 8 to 10%. For a pair of shoes that would usually cost only a few hundred dollars, earning up to $1,000 is definitely something that anyone would not turn down, right? Now, the fourth side hassle is probably the simplest for anyone to accomplish if you receive a regular paycheck from a job that pays you a couple of times per month. Number four, taking advantage of bank account bonuses. Basically, say every 3 to 4 months or so in your first 2 jobs out of college, you search Google for the best bank account sign-up bonuses. You can do this yourself very easily and you will be able to find many banks that were willing to pay new customers a bonus of $100 to $300 simply for opening a new account with them and then having a certain amount deposited from an employer within a certain time frame. So, for example, if you did a Google search, you would find a page from bankrate.com explaining a checking account from TD Bank where you can receive a $300 bonus if you had at least $2,500 in direct deposits from paychecks within 60 days. For a more progressive bank like SoFi, they actually have a tiered system for earning between $50 and $300 depending on the amount of direct deposits within 30 days. If you read the tiny print, most of the time with these bonuses, you have to maintain that account active for at least 6 months after you complete the requirements for direct deposit. Now, number 5, Selling Study Guides. It may seem like it would only be appropriate for college students, but in reality, it can be done by anyone. Imagine, back when some of you were in college, there were those massive classes with 700 people that were entrance to major classes like marketing, accounting, and things like that. Some really smart people realized that the information taught in these classes was the same every year. They were able to make these study materials and organize these study sessions where they went over the key topics the class would be assessed on. Pretty smart if you're asking me, right? Next up, number 6, being a golf caddy. It's certainly more suited to younger people, though anyone can do it. It is pretty straightforward and that there are also members of some country clubs that have the option of playing golf with a caddy who will carry their bag. 
Let's say you started this as one of your very first side businesses and summer jobs. You drive over to a nearby country club where you knew a few other friends that also had started the caddying business. There, you will be able to start by shadowing other caddies to learn exactly what you had to do on the course. Now, even though you have never played golf before, it will be quite simple to follow and for each round played with a bag, most caddies receive payment of about $40. Now, if you were to take this seriously and work hard to improve like some of the great caddies, you would do what they did and learn how to play the course and read the greens. You would offer suggestions and counsel to assist the golfers. So, on top of your base income, that would also bring in some extra tips for you and there are even really seasoned caddies who would carry two bags simultaneously for two golfers at a time so they could get paid even more. Then, after finishing a morning round that lasted 4 hours, they would return for an afternoon round that lasted 4 hours and involved 18 holes and involved another 2 bags. In certain circumstances, they may earn more than $300 to $400 in cash in a single day. So yes, if you truly enjoy playing golf and being outside, you can make a fairly good living doing it. In addition, you'll meet some really interesting people and get to network a little bit. A few older caddies also love doing this on the weekends to earn some extra money and enjoy the golf course even if, as mentioned earlier, this profession may wind up being primarily performed by younger people. This is therefore clearly something to consider as it really is a good deal. Lastly, number 7, and the most fundamental one of all that anyone can do right now which is just reselling in general. There are many different ways to interpret that. So far, the most common kinds are usually only selling used clothing, gadgets, and other items that you probably have lying around. Basically, you just look for items that were wasting space but would undoubtedly be valuable to someone else. After selling everything you own that you no longer need, some people go one step further and even offer to resell family and friends' possessions in exchange for a portion of the proceeds. You can even visit thrift shops, outlets, or websites like Facebook Marketplace to find some incredibly inexpensive items that you can resell on a variety of online marketplaces like eBay or Poshmark. Simply said, you shouldn't always overcomplicate side hassles and search for the newest, top secret websites that pay you for doing surveys or viewing movies. Finding a need or demand that someone else has, then filling it with your time, money, or a combination of both is what a side business actually boils down to. But that is essentially the 7 side hassles that you should definitely consider looking into if ever you are looking for jobs that can earn you some quick cash. How did you like the list that was prepared? Do you have any of your own side hassles that you would like to share with other people? Leave them down in the comments below. Happy hassling everyone! Always stay focused on learning and developing discipline. Get educated, make a plan, and stay the course. If you found this informative, smash the like button, please share it with a friend, Comment down below and let us know what would you like to have made Finance Simple next. And definitely subscribe so you don't miss new content. Keep your head up, ears open, and always search for knowledge. See you soon!